So I want to talk to you about Windows High Contrast Mode. What Windows High Contrast Mode is, is that it changes the way your computer displays websites, apps, just anything you see on the computer. It adds a lot of contrast to it, obviously, but it also hides things that can create visual clutter. For example, it changes the background color of a lot of websites to the theme that is supported. I want to show you how to enable it. So you can either enable it on startup or what, the, what you can do is just go to your search bar and type hi. Not hee hee. Hi. Contrast mode. Okay. And then it will suggest that you turn high contrast mode on off and then I press enter. And there we go. You have presented with this menu and then just turn it off and on. So I'm going to turn mine on with using space bar. Okay. And as you see, the whole display of our website and our app changed. So this is uh, like an app ease of access that every Windows has. It's changed and the contrast is very high, but it also changed the website that we browsed on Edge. So you can have high contrast. You can also choose a theme. So the default one is black. There's also white, or you can have like a custom one. You can customize how the text displays, the, the button text, the background, you can uh, specify the different color. So the since the default is black, this is usually where I test. I usually test websites on black and white, but I don't test it on custom themes because users can just customize their theme, their, their themes the way they like them. Hyperlinks are changed to yellow. Disabled text is changed to green. All text is changed to white and all background is changed to black. AKA it ensures that you have very good contrast. If we minimize this window and take a look at our website, you can see how different it looks. All the links are yellow. All the text is white. So basically it overread it, it has overridden everything that the web developer has enabled in their CSS to be in a different color based on high contrast mode. So right now it high contrast mode works great on Internet Explorer and Edge, and it has partial support in Firefox. Google Chrome is coming up with support with high contrast mode, I think, but right now Google Chrome does not support high contrast mode. So I wouldn't bet on it and I wouldn't use it on Chrome about as, as for statistics, I, I watched on a conference that about 4% of users use high contrast mode. And you might be thinking, well, that's very little. Well, keep in mind how many millions of users use windows. So it's, it's actually an incredibly high amount, which is why it's important to, to modify your websites to support high contrast mode. I want to show you a website that is coded good on high contrast mode and a website that is coded bad that on high contrast mode. So of course, this is the Microsoft's website for the article about how to enable high contrast mode or HCM in, in short. And you can see how easy it is to distinguish which ones are links because links will always be yellow. So they use the correct markup here. And if I click on a search bar, you can see that the search bar is outlined and the disabled text here, which is the placeholder is green. So they did really good job. If I start using the tab key to navigate the site, you can see that the outline is very visible outline being these dotted things around. So that means they did a very good job. I'm still navigating the site with tab and I can see clearly. So these are buttons, obviously, because they have borders. Links are always yellow. I can see clearly what everything is. And that's pretty much in high contrast mode how you can, you know, optimize your site to support it. You just have to use the correct markup like 99% of the time. So this is a very good website. Now I want to show you a better example of a website that uses high contrast mode, which is this one. So this website is not good. It hasn't been optimized well for using high contrast mode because first of all, there is no logo. The logo is supposed to be here, but there is absolutely no logo. Uh, if I press the tab key, the whole content disappears. <laughs> so that's really bad user experience. I'm going to try to search something and see, this is the search field, but it has no outline. It doesn't have a border. Whereas in our old site, the, the previous site, the search field had a border, but this one doesn't. So if I start searching something, I don't know where the search will end. See if, see, I'm, it has a border, but it's invisible to me. This is very bad user experience. So 
Another thing is browsing it with my, the tab key doesn't give me an outline. So right now I have selected the complex C serum. I think I've selected this or shop now, I think, but I get no outline. And the high contrast mode supports outlines if the developer has done a good job coding the site. There is also a flag here and the flag doesn't appear. So it's, it's just really bad user experience because they haven't optimized their site for high contrast mode. Another thing that's bad for the site is that here it says enter your email. There's a placeholder, but there are no borders around it. And when I click on it, the cursor appears just far away from the text. So this is, uh, this is a badly coded website. That's that's for sure. Now let's uh, let's look at this website. Let's disable high contrast mode. So to enable it, you can of course go into the type here to search, and you can uh, type high contrast mode, and the app will, dis will appear. Or you can use the left alt and shift key, and then you press them all together, and then you use print screen, which will enable or disable high contrast mode. So right now I want to disable high contrast mode. So I'm going to press left alt shift and then print screen. Okay, so I have exited high contrast mode right now. And as you can see, there is a big difference of how it was, how the website presents high contrast mode, how it presents without it. So we couldn't see the flag, we couldn't see the logo, the search had no border, even though the search has no border here again, but in high contrast mode, it's very important for you to have border. So don't do what this website has done. Another thing I want to mention is that high contrast mode is not the same as dark mode. Here I am on a website that I actually have a button where you can enable light theme, dark theme, or high contrast. If I change it to dark, the background of the website changes. And that's like most of the things that change in dark mode is just the background makes it like dark grayish, but very few other components change on the website. However, if I, if I enable high contrast mode, see it changes the structure of the site, the visual structure of the site altogether. So it changes the, the, the links color, the text color, whereas in dark mode, it's mostly just the background. See on high contrast mode, it hit this. There is a, if I'm on light, there is, you remember, if you see how there is like a, a background image here, well on dark mode, the background image is preserved. High contrast mode, it is removed. Now, another thing I wanna mention is edge right now, edge, right now preserves background image properties. So background images will be preserved. However, it doesn't preserve uh, linear gradients on Internet Explorer. However, it doesn't preserve background images. So I want to show you something. I'm here on the W3C website. And as you can see, I have a background image that is just a background image. So I'm going to enable high contrast mode using left out plus shift print screen. So I'm on edge and the uh, background image is preserved. Whereas if I go on my Internet Explorer and we open the same site, the background image is hidden because Internet Explorer and Edge, even though they're both of the, those browsers support high contrast mode, the, Internet Explorer doesn't support like the newest version and doesn't support like all the features of high contrast mode that Edge does. So use Edge if you want to test for HCM and the uh, Internet Explorer around is being deprecated anyways. So uh, see how the HCM looks here and then see how it looks in the edge. The background image is preserved. So even though we got, even though the high contrast mode is not in the WGAG, it is still important to code your website in order for the website to be compatible for high contrast mode because you don't know what well, you don't know the user that is going to visit your site. And high contrast mode is used for, for is used by people who have low vision, uh, people with cataracts, with dilated pupils. I even read someone with autism who likes to use high contrast mode. And remember, high contrast mode is especially made for people with um, low vision, whereas dark mode can be used by anyone. It's mostly used for glare or some people who just think they're cooler than others by using dark mode on websites or on their computers, you know. So it's very important to make to optimize your site to work on high contrast mode. And it's not difficult, like 99% of the time, it the, the simplest thing you can do is just use correct markup, which is how you make accessible websites anyways. So yeah, that's that's pretty much with what it is with high contrast mode. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.